What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Galila. Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new, welcome. Thanks for joining. Um, so today, we are going to be discussing something that I mentioned in my last video, which is basement renovation. So today's gonna be the first video of many um, about going through my basement renovation process. I took a poll on my Instagram and people were really interested in learning about the process and seeing the process so i thought that i would start off with a video discussing my top five tips on what you should do when it comes to your own home renovations based off of what i personally went through so tip number one is going to be setting your budget uh, this is the one of the most important things in starting the process um, when i knew that i wanted to renovate my basement um, I started off just researching, literally Googling like basement renovation estimates. Um, and I read a bunch of articles on it. Obviously I only paid attention to stuff that dealt similarly with, you know, adding a kitchen and adding a bathroom, which are the things that I will be doing. Um, and a website that was really helpful was home advisor. Um, I'll put in like a screen grab of what their website does, but basically, you know, they ask you a series of questions of what type of renovations that you want done in your home, where your home is located, because obviously the location affects the price. So now that you did your research and you have a price range, try hard not to vary from it because you'll definitely get a boatload of different estimates once you start talking to contractors. So just remember what you're able to afford and that price that budget that you have created for yourself um, should include not only you know what you'll be paying the contractors for their labor and materials that they'll provide but also for the appliances and materials that you may have to provide yourself so just make sure that both of those things are included so tip number two is going to be finding a contractor so for me i am in a new city i don't really have my parents or anybody that else adults that I can count on that have connections. So I started off with just asking my realtor. Realtors are a great source for this because they work with a lot of different clients that do renovations on their home. So they probably have a list of people that you can contact. Um, asking friends, friends uh, who know people that have had work done on their houses or who themselves have had work done, getting contractors from, from them. Um, and last is Angie's List. So on Angie's List, if you put in the type of work that you're looking for, they'll give you a set of contractors. Now, mind you, the contractors that do come from Angie's List are probably gonna be on the more expensive side, but there's a lot of things that you can learn from having different types of contractors come and see your place. And I would recommend having about like five or seven people to come check out your place. You can have a good amount of estimates and also see what one person says versus the other. Um, like somebody may not mention that you need permits for the type of work you're, that you're doing or speak to you about the electrical work or plumbing work. So it will help you build questions for the next contractor that you meet. So tip number three is going to be understanding the contract. So now that you have, you know, narrowed down to your top three contractors, you're going to want to look in detail uh, at the different contracts that they have sent you. So obviously after contractors come to see your home, they're going to send you out a list of materials, the type of work that they're going to do, how much the labor is going to cost and what you will be expected to provide. Um, so looking at how detailed the contract is, some people like to list out every little thing that they are planning on doing while others will list out like a high level. Also, some may list more materials that they are willing to provide and some may list less materials and sometimes the people that list less may be more expensive. So obviously you can just, you know, kick that one out of your top three. Um, I would also recommend asking them to add certain things that you may deem necessary that you don't see on that list and see if that changes the price because that's also important. So now that you've gone through all of that and picked your contractor, that's going to lead us to number four, which is negotiating the contract. The number one thing that I would recommend in this tip would be review, review and review and review that contract over and over again. Um, if you are like me, which I've obviously never gone through this type of process before, I also had you know my dad review it. Um, have your parents, your aunts, uncles, anybody 
that you trust that has gone through this process before review that because they might see something that is missing or bring up something that you didn't even think to ask um, so that's really important because you don't want to be in a situation where something was missing from the contract that wasn't explicitly written and the work has already you know been underway and now you're expected to pay for it an example of that would be trash removal trash removal is very expensive so you don't want to have to pay out of pocket on top of the amount of money that you've already agreed to the next thing that i would talk about with this contractor is the payment schedule um, so, you know, you're going to be expected to put a certain amount of percentage down as a deposit before the work starts and then a certain amount of percentage either weekly or halfway through the work is completed and then your last payment at the end after your final walkthrough. Um, the only thing that I would recommend here is to have at least 30% of your payment as the last payment because if you keep... 30% of that until the end, it will motivate, you know, the contractors to continue to do a great job and to not, you know, uh, change the timeline of when it's expected to. And it'll just, it'll help you with the process having that amount of money. If you're left with like 10%, you know, that's not that big of a deal. If they already have 90% of the payment. So now that you've discussed all of those things with your contractors, um, amended the contract, have the payment schedule worked out, you have signed the contract because I know how hard it is to get to that point. Now we're on to tip number five, which is after you're signing the contract, now you have to do some research. So one thing that I have been going through these past this past week or two is researching appliances. It has been a struggle finding the best fit for my small space. Um, you know, I don't really care to have top of the line appliances, obviously, because it's going to be a rental unit. It's not really for me to use. But if you plan on renovating a rental unit, you know, you don't want to go with the cheapest either because tenants don't always take care of your property as well as you would like. So you want to find something in the middle that is durable. You know, look for sales, look for bundle deals. Um, I literally have a spreadsheet, which I'll show you guys, of just like, you know, all the little things that I need to buy and uh, websites and how much it's going to cost just um listing out at least you know a couple options for each so that i can go back and decide on what i want to go with at the end so that's a process that you just have to handle after everything is done and the renovation will start so these are my tips for you guys today um, i hope that they're useful please let me know if you guys like it um, and let me know if there's anything else that y'all want to learn about or see during this process and i'll make sure to include them in the other videos um and you know give this video a thumbs up as well if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe guys uh really means a lot our family is growing so i'm super appreciative um and yeah we'll i'll see you guys next time the next video will definitely show begin to show the process of the basement changing um i'll put in a clip of how the basement looks now here so you guys can kind of get to get a feel for it um and yeah i'll see you guys next time peace out